Hello everybody. This time I would like to show the use of Blender's vertex groups and make a model with uh, some particles. To do this I will model a tennis ball. Okay, so first I keep the default cube, tap to uh, edit mode, 3 to go to face selection, and then I click on these three faces here and press the P key. P allows me to separate an object into different objects and then I go tap back to uh, object mode, press A to select everything, press Ctrl 3 to apply a level 3 subdivision surface, then Ctrl J to join these two objects again to one object as you can see here and finally I go to my modifiers tab and apply the modifier. Now I go back to edit mode and when you look closely you see that uh, these vertices have not joined. So uh, they are still loose and we must join these vertices together. So A key, then my quick favorites merge by distance and it has automatically removed 56 vertices. But as I can see here, these have not merged. So I go up a bit. 64. Now they have merged. Now we are good. Okay, next I will uh, separate this and enable X-ray mode. Then go to polygon mode, select these and these and delete faces don't need this anymore and I would like to protect this edge a bit better and for that I add an edge in here with the J key. You could also use the uh, F key for fill but I use J because with the J key you can do quite interesting things like this here where you can go across several uh, polygons. Quite useful in some situations. So Ctrl Z to undo this. Next I go to uh, vertex mode, select this vertex, put the cursor on this diagonal line, press G twice and now I can slide this vertex along this temporary diagonal line. Do the same here. G twice and slide it along here. This is like action center element in Modo. So select these two. We don't need them anymore. And X and dissolve edges. Now I want to uh, bevel this edge here, so edge mode, alt, shift, alt and shift, alt, then control B for edge bevel and bevel this out quite a bit like so. Now I insert three edges in here, so Control R. You see here it 
shows you where it would insert the edge with the middle mouse wheel. You can tell how many edges you want. I put in three, left click, and now I could slide it because this is called insert and slide edge and right click to finalize it. Now it's called loop cut and slide anyway. Now I select this middle one here and X dissolve edges and now we have uh, a nice seam in here which can be selected in one go. So, okay, now I tap to object mode again, add a mirror modifier, mirror in Y and Z, but not in X, like this, and then apply this and go back to edit mode. First, I would like to put a bit more geometry in here without using subdivision surface modifier because this would always add two additional edges. And if I select everything, right click and say subdivide, it puts only in one. So select this one and dissolve. Now A to select everything and go to Mesh, Transform to Sphere and make a perfect sphere out of it with a factor of 1. OK, now we have our seam. So in uh, face mode, I left click Alt left click on one of these uh, edges here, then I press the E key and right click to activate the extrude tool, then press the S key to scale this in a little, then I press Ctrl numeric plus, maybe once more. Then go to the uh, materials key, add a material, call this uh, seam and give it a color, something dark and we don't need specular and uh, so this gives it a plastic look. So H hide this, A to select everything, then add a new material, call this um, ball, make it yellowish like so and assign it. Now we can Alt H, unhide everything and have a look. Yes, materials have been assigned. Good. Uh, I should have done that before, but it's no problem. I can select this color here, Shift G, select similar material. Then I go to uh, my vertex groups add a new group, assign my selection to this group, deselect it and then select again and yes it has only selected my yellow material, that's good. Next we can tap to object mode, I right click shade smooth, this is perfect and now I can go to my particle systems and add a new particle system. And we want to make hair. 
and the hair is uh, dark so it has the wrong color so let's go to render material ball now that's better now the hair is way too long so uh, I say point 0.1 probably still too long let's say point zero 0.05 okay we can always change this later then we need the children here interpolated don't ask me why I just found this works best and I say here 250 I want to see how it looks at the end and 250 here also and now you see the problem we have we have hair also on the seam and this is not the case this is when our uh, vertex groups come in do I need anything else here no and here I say yes the group that's much better and the length also helps a bit and I think the hair is still too long so let's go back to here I put this to 0 0.025 that makes more sense yeah that looks good okay next I add a plane shift a plane scale it up s left click and then I can go to the material tab add a new material make it a dark green you could also add uh, particles like grass the same way as I did uh, the hair on the ball so I make this more dark darker Hmm. need a light yeah it has taken it so front view grab Z shift okay then I uh, grab the light and let's see with the light selected I can say I want an area light again so rotate around set find a nice view and the Q key lock camera to view you remember this is up here under view lock camera to view with N you can get rid of this so we can make this a bit bigger like so and then go to the output screen make this 66% uh, go to the render engine and say we want to have cycles mm -hmm. render 512 samples and press F12 
and you see this is going to look pretty awesome pretty realistic so that's it for now thanks for watching take care and see you some other time and by the way if you liked this then please leave a like. Thanks a lot and bye bye.